In order to install a 100 mil hub in a 110 mil hub boost fork, you must um, install a spacer kit. And today we have a five mil spacer kit that includes a five millimeter spacer for the brake um, rotor as well. So that way you don't have to dish your wheel. Um, by putting in uh, a, a one singular 10 millimeter spacer, you equal it out by putting two fives along with spacing out the um, rotor. We had uh, previously removed the rotor off of um, the wheel, and uh, so now we are at the point of uh, installing the spacer on. Um, this stands 330 hub here. If you place the spacer, which is a five millimeter spacer, uh, on the hub, lining up all the holes that are pre drilled in it, place the rotor over top, and um, we've pre put on some uh, blue Loctite um, thread locker on the bolts and that way we'll just install them hand tight in. By putting the five mil spacer behind the, the rotor, it allows the, um, uh, the rotor to have a better alignment with the brake without having to redish the wheel, which is another option, but it, it's, it's more um, time consuming and, and uh, you know, difficult procedure than this. This is very simple um, and, and very effective. Um, we've already tried this out um, on uh, some of the boost forks and they've been really, really uh, solid. Uh, there's no brake chatter, nothing comes with this. So um, this seems to be the solve for a lot of people instead of having to purchase a uh, 110 hub and a uh, whole other wheel set really for a lot of these bikes now. This allows you to be able to use your current 100 millimeter uh, wheel set with a uh, 15 mil through axle. Once you get these installed, then you're pretty much ready to go by putting the uh, um, spacers on the axle and um, there's a little bit of a, a difficulty as far as getting it to line up easily uh, when you're putting them on but um, uh, it's no no major problems with it whatsoever so we'll after uh, this gets all tightened up we'll um, proceed to the next um, spot and put the uh, spacers in Here is a uh, close-up of the spacer in behind the rotor now that it's been uh, um, installed. It's only five millimeters, so it really doesn't um, show much on, on the actual uh, hub. Um, it, it was easy to install, as you can see. There's the bolts, everything bolts through. Um, and now we're ready to put it in the bike. Okay. Okay, we're ready for our next step, which is to install the five millimeter spacers on the 15 mil axle, through axle. So here we uh, will start by placing the through axle in just enough that you can get the spacer on. It's uh, a bit of a difficult one. This, uh, I couldn't tell you how many times I've had this thing fall off, but um, if you hold it, um, slide in, you'll be able to get it on this side. So this is the one 5 mil spacer slid in. Slide your axle in. Um, now we have to grab the next 5 mil spacer and put it in on the other side, which I will show you next. Now we're going to install the 5 millimeter spacer on the through axle uh, on the brake rotor side. You have to slide it between the fork leg 
and um, uh, the axle, which uh, is a little bit of a tight, difficult spot to get in. Um, you basically have to force it into there in order to make the spacer up um, and fit. Slide the axle through like that, through the spacer, and tighten it up, and uh, there it is um, uh, installed. And then, of course, you would tighten up the axle, and uh, you now have a 110 uh, boost fork with a um, 5 mil spacer on your brake and uh, brake rotor and uh, five mil spacer on each side of the axle taking up the space so that you can run any 100 mil um, hub this way. Awesome idea.